Hello everybody, I am Balji Dhaka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and today we will discuss paper code 869. This is online test series and online test series Pinnacle provides 50 test series, 50 test test series and all test will have video solution of each and every question of each section. So definitely you can join, you want to become part of SSCGL 2016, then go to our website sscglpinnacle.com, over there you will find option to join. There are three, four type of test series, whichever test you want to join, you can join. Question number 51, in this question it is given if A is equal to this then value of a square minus a x we have to find the value of this. Now if you find such, a, such kind of question you can solve by putting value for example if you put here value you put here 2 x is equal to 2 why 2 why not 1 because if you put 2 then it will be easier to calculate that's why we are putting x is equal to 2 x is equal to 2 2 plus 2 that is 4 root of 4 would be 2 and 2 minus 2 that is 0, root of 0 obviously 0, x plus 2 that is 2 minus 0. So you can say 2 by 2 that is 1. a is equal to 1 in this case you can say and then from these two factors we can find a value of a square that is 1 square of 1 is 1 minus 1 into 2. 1 minus 2 that is minus 1. c should be the answer. Otherwise, you can find the solution by um, component derivative rule. What is this? A plus B, A minus B is equal to C by D and C plus D, C minus D is equal to A by B. You can apply this, but that will be more lengthier. You can find easily from this technique. Question number 52. P and C complete a piece of work in 12 days. C and A can do it in 8 days, all the 3 can do it in 6 days, A and B together can complete it in how many days. Now B plus C it is given 12 days, C plus A 8 days and A plus, plus, A plus B plus C 6 days. We have to find the value of A and B together in how many days they can complete. Now take the total work as take LCM that is 24 you can take total uh, units of work total work that is 24 unit in one day in one day their efficiency would be 2 unit 3 unit and 4 unit. It means A plus B plus C is doing 4 unit and B plus C is doing 2 unit. What does it mean? A will do in one day 2 unit. If A plus C are doing 3 unit and A plus B plus C are doing 4 unit, what does it mean? B is doing 1 unit. B is doing 1 unit. So A plus B will do in one day 3 unit. 3 unit in one day. To complete, to cover 24 unit, they will take how many days? 24 by 3 that is 8 day work will be done. Question answer is C. Next question, question number 53. In this question it is given, in the given figure AB ratio CD and AB is given 100, then BED, BED that is, this is BED, 25 and CDE, CDE, we have to find the value of this. Now these are parallel, AB and CD parallel, you can produce this. So, if this is 100, then it would be 80 because the uh, sum of interior angle would be 180. If this is 80, then it would be 100. It would be 100. And this is given 25. BED, BED 25. So, 100 plus 25, 125. And from if minus 180, then we will have 55 is this. If this is 55, 180 minus 55, 
180 minus 55 that is 125 should be the value of x a should be the answer question number 54 if tangent 5x minus 10 cos 5y minus 40 is given then we have to find the value of x plus y now in place of here you can write tangent 90 minus 5 minus 20 or in other words you can write here plus if you don't want to put in bracket now and this side is tangent so tangent to tangent cancel we will have 5x then if you go this side then it will have 5y and 90 this is then you can say a 90 and this is minus 10 it would be 100 100 and it would be this is uh, this side is minus minus plus 100 20 100 20 so 10 y uh, 5 y sorry 5 x plus y is equal to 120 then x plus y would be 24 so b should be the answer now question number question number question number 55 a cone a cylinder and hemisphere stand on the same base and have equal height you can say hemisphere cone and cylinder this is cylinder same base and equal height the ratio of their volume would be now you can say this if this is r then it will be also r height will be r so cone volume would be 1 by 3 pi r square h as is in this case r this is cone then cylinder would be pi r square and h h is in this case r and hemisphere, uh, hemisphere volume would be 2 by 3 pi r 3 pi r 3 so you can say pi cancel also this will be cancel then 1 by 3 that is 1 and 2 by 3 in other words 1 3 and 2 should be the ratio 1 3 2 p should be the answer you can say if you multiply to each by 3 then you will have 1 3 and 2 next question question number 56 a shopkeeper marks is good 20 percent above its cost price if its cost price is 100 then mark price would be 125 20 and then he gives 15 percent discount 15 percent means 18 rupees discount 120 into 15 by 100 18 rupees discount it means he is selling in 100 0 2 100 rupees the cost he is selling 102 profit is 2 rupees on 100 2 percent profit 2 percent is the profit question number 57 ratio of the number of boys to that of girls in a village is 3 is to 2 boys and girls 3 is to 2 you can see 300 boys 200 girls if 30 percent of the boys and 70 percent of the girls appeared in examination the ratio of the number of student appeared in the examination to that of known appeared in the examination so let us find appeared in the examination so 3, 100 into 30 90 appeared and 70 percent appeared boys 140 200 into 70 140 it means total 500 out of you can say 230 appearing and 200 70 not appearing 230 and 270 appearing non appearing ratio is 23 and 27 question is the ratio of the number of villagers appeared appeared 23 non appeared 27 d is the answer question number 58 sbi lent 
रुपीज वन थ्री थ्री वन लैक टू सहारा ग्रुप एट कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट एंड गोट वन सेवन टू एट लैक आफ्टर थ्री ईयर्स वट इज द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट चार्ज इव कंपाउंड कंपाउंडेड एनुअली वन थ्री थ्री दिस इज द प्रिंसिपल एंड दिस इज द अमाउंट वन सेवन टू एट दिस इज द अमाउंट एंड वन प्लस आर बाई हंड्रेड इंटू थ्री दिस इज थ्री थ्री वन सो यू कैन से ट्वेल्व पावर थ्री एंड इलेवन पावर थ्री वन सेवन टू एट इज द क्यूब ऑफ ट्वेल्व एंड वन थ्री थ्री वन क्यूब ऑफ इलेवन देन वी विल हैव यू कैन से दिस इज द क्यूब देन वन प्लस आर बाई हंड्रेड यू कैन कैंसल सो यू विल गेट ट्वेल्व बाय इलेवन माइनस वन दैट इज आर बाय हंड्रेड यू कैन से वन बाय इलेवन आर बाय हंड्रेड वैल्यू ऑफ आर वुड बी हंड्रेड बाय इलेवन हंड्रेड बाय इलेवन यू कैन से अराउंड नाइन नाइन प्लस वन बाय नाइन नाइन प्लस वन बाय नाइन मीन्स यू विल हैव दिस These are two circle with center O and P, O P, eight and four radii, and touch is the direction. The length of that common tangent. This is common tangent. We have to tell that the length of common tangent. What is the formula of length of common tangent? This L is equal to L is equal to d, d square minus r one minus r two square whole square. This is the formula that you have to remember. It will become very easier then if you remember this. Eight plus four that is twelve. Twelve square and then minus eight minus four, four four square that is sixteen. One hundred twenty-eight. You can write it eight root two because eight into eight sixty-four into two one hundred twenty-eight. So you can find like this this type of question. But you have important thing is this is the calculation. But you have to remember this. This is more important. D square minus R one minus R two and Q. If you uh, square, if this is like this, like this, it means cross. Then we will have in place of minus plus. Question number sixty-three. A bag contains rupees one fifty paisa and twenty-five paise coins in the ratio five six eight. If the total amount is 240, number of 25 paisa would be how much? Now it is given in rupees. So convert this into rupees, and this is rupees 50 paisa, and then 25 paisa, 25 paise. Convert these are coins convert into rupees because the rupees is given here. So 5 rupees, 5 coin, 6 by 2 that is 3, and 8 by 4. 8 by 4 means 2 rupees. Six by four, y four, uh, y two, six by two, y two, because in one rupee there are two twenty fifty uh, pesos, and y eight by four because in rupee there are twenty five four twenty five pesos. So in rupees term the ratio is five three and two. We have to find this twenty five. So two by ten into twenty four forty eight rupees, and how many points? You can multiply by four. One ninety-two coins. This should be the answer. In this bag, twenty-five paisa coins would be one ninety-two. Question number sixty-four. Two qualities of gold of weight eighteen kilogram, eighteen gram, and twelve gram have purity twenty carat and fifteen carat respectively. If they are melted together to form a ring, then purity of the ring would be how much? Now, two quality of gold of weight eighteen gram, it is given, and twelve gram purity twenty and fifteen. Now, see the weightage ratio of weight is eighteen to twelve. Uh, that is three is to two. Eighteen twelve three is to two. It means between twenty and fifteen, twenty and fifteen, the weightage of twenty carat gold would be. 
3 and 15 uh, category would be 2. You can say if there are 5 carat difference then it will be divided into 2 is to 3 is to 2 that is 15 plus 3 18 this would be towards 18 side because the, the role of 18 gram would be in the ratio of 3 and would, would it would be in the ratio of 2. It means 15 plus 3 18 would be the uh, you can say if they are melted together form a ring then the purity of the uh, ring would be 3 is uh, 18 18 would be the common and you can interpret it in this format if it would have been for example uh, 0 it would have been 0 then it would have only 100 percent it would have been 100 percent so obviously 20 carat gold would have been 100 percent in the in the option so in uh, this question should be interpreted in this format that that the ratio of weight is in is in the 3 is to 2. So the purity would be also be divided in the format of 3 is to 2 and 3 portion is dominated by 18. It means it will be if the gap is 5 then 3 will be this side and 2 will be this side. It means 3 is this side then it will be towards 15 plus 3 that is 18. It would have been 100 percent and then then it is 0 then it would have been 100 percent that is 20 carat would have been the exact answer. So but here 20 and 15 and here 18 and 20 so gap is divided into 3 to 2. It means 15 plus 3 that is 18 it would be towards 20 carat. So answer is C in this case. So this is an interpretation question there is no need to calculate otherwise there will be more confusion. Present age of Ram and Sham are in the ratio of 4 is to 5 respectively. 5 years hence the ratio of their age will become 5 is to 6 respectively. What is the Ram present age? 4x and 5x after 5 year after 5 year the age becomes 5 is to 6. You can say value of x is equal to 5 and we have to find the value of Ram is 5 plus uh, into 4 because x value is 5, 4 into 5 that is 20 should be the answer. Next question, from an aeroplane just over a straight road, the angle of depression of 2 consecutive kilometer consecutive kilometer stone situated at opposite side of the aeroplane were found to be 60 degree and 30 degree respectively. Height of the aeroplane from the road at that instant is how much? Height we have to find the value of h and this these are two pillars you can say angle of duration 2 consecutive kilometer stone these are stone and consecutive stone of 1 kilometer distance it means 1 kilometer is total distance between these two stones and this is aeroplane here flying and the gap uh, the angle of depression is 60 and 30 60 and 30 for example if it is x then we will have h by x we will have h by x is equal to tangent 60 that is root 3 in other words you can say h is equal to root 3 by x or x is equal to h by root 3 x is equal to h by root 3 this is value of h x and this is 1 minus x 1 minus x so 1 minus x h by 1 minus x is equal to that is tangent 30 means 1 by root 3 in place of x you can also write h by root 3 so we will have h 1 minus h by root 3 and that is 1 by root 3 you can say for root 3 h if it will go this side then it will be this side which is equal to 1 and minus h root 3 in other words you can say 
we will go this side because we have to find the ultimately value of h then root 3 h plus h by root 3 is equal to 1 is equal to 1 so you can find from here the value of a h means h would be equal to you can take common or root 3 plus 1 by root 3 that is 1 that is 1 in other words s would be equal to 1 or root 3 and plus 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 you can further simplify it root 3 take lcm and then 3 plus 1 4 3 1 uh, 4 so it would be 1 by it would be 4 in other words value of s would be root 3 by 4 root 3 by 4 should be the answer B. Question number 67. Find the area of the shaded region in the given figure of square A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. This is the square. Total length of the side is 16. It means if this is 10, then this would be 6. If this is 8, then it would be 8. This is 6, then it would be 10. This would be 10. Now, if you know the area of we know the area of square 16 into 16 256 minus we have to find the area of shaded region if you subtract this this and this portion then we will have area of this portion and what is the area of this area of this would be 1 by 1 by 2 6 into 8 1 by 2 base into height you can say 24 and then this is also 6 and 10 6 and 8 so this is also minus 24 because 1 by 2 into 6 into 8 say so it would be the same then uh, this would be 10 into 16 into 1 by 2 80 we have subtracted this this and this now this should be the answer 24 plus 24 48 48 plus 80 then we will have 1 minus 124 124 we will have this 180 128 goes to 48 plus 8 80 128 128 should be the answer now question number 68 in this question it is given a man can row 5 km per hour in still water 5 km in still water if the speed of the stream is this is stream speed you can say the current speed this is 5 km still water speed he takes one hour when he travels upstream to a place and back again to the starting point how far is the place from the starting point now you can say one hour is the time total time it travel he takes one hour you can say x divided by uh, 5 plus 1.5 uh, you can say 6.5 x 5 minus 1.5 3.5 is equal to 1 hour is equal to 1 hour now we have to find the value of how far is the place from the starting point we have to find the value of x so you can take LCM 6.5 into 3.5 you can write directly it will be easier to calculate 6.5 if you find such kind of situation then you write directly instead of multiplying exact then 10x is equal to 6.5 into 3.5 in other words value of a 6.5 and uh, we will have value of 10x is equal to this and value of x would be you can write instead of 65 35 10 into 10 and then it will be 10 you can then multiply if you multiply 65 into you can say uh, 
it will be 6 into 3 18 and 7 into 3 you can say 65 and 40 multiply first it will be here and then you detect we will have twenty two point seven five it means if it is one thousand then this should be the answer two point two seven five if you multiply it is near to this instead of completing then you can take uh, assumption from here also next question question number 69 study the following pipes, pipes are carefully to answer the question that follow what is the total total number of student uh, teacher is given teacher total number of teacher 1800 what is the total number of teacher teaching english chemistry and physics english chemistry and physics so you can say 23 plus 17 40 40 plus 20 uh, 67 percent 18 into 67 percent would be 1206 should be the answer question number 70 in this question it is given what is the respective ratio of the number of teacher who teach mathematics and the number of teacher who teach Hindi mathematics and Hindi you have to find mathematics and Hindi teachers mathematics and Hindi 27 percent and 8 percent this would be constant both sides so 27 and 8 should be the ratio what is the respect to the number of teachers who teach mathematics and the number of teachers who teach Hindi Mathematics, mathematics is 13, sorry 13, mathematics is 13, no 27, this was mathematics, 20, uh, that is 13 and ratio 8, 13 ratio 8, B should be the answer. Question number 71, 80% of the biology teachers, so in exam also you should not expect that with every question you will find graph, especially in SSC, in SSC you can find graph at one place and then you have to again and again switch your uh, page question to question. So if 80% of the biology teacher, 80% of a biology teacher and 40% of Hindi teacher are female, find the number of male teacher in both the subject. Now it means 20% are female teacher, uh, male teacher biology and 60% Hindi male teacher. So in this graph, see, eight percent total. Eighteen into eight. Eighteen percent. Eight percent. One forty-four total teachers are Hindi teachers, and of these, twenty percent, sixty percent are. Just a minute. Sixty percent are male teacher you can multiply it by 0.6 then we will have 86.4 around 86.4 male teachers and in case of biology 12% 18100 into 12% 216 total teachers out of these 80% female then 20% you can say female male so you will have male one twenty nine point six that is around 130 total teachers should be female 130 this we have to find the in approximate number approximate so D should be the answer question number 72 
in this question given number of biology teachers are how many percentage more than the number of hindi teachers so we have found that biology teachers are 12 percent hindi teachers are 8 percent so difference is 4 4 percent difference on 8 percent on 100 it would be you can say 50 percent teacher are more 50 percent is the difference and question answer is also C. Next question, question number 73. In this given, a question given, if the percentage of mathematics teacher is increased by 50% and percentage of Hindi teacher is decreased by 25%, then what would be the total number of mathematics and Hindi teachers together? So if teachers is reduced, increased 50% math, 50% math. Math teachers total are 13 into 13 percent it would be 234 and 30, 50 percent you can say half is reduced half is increased it is given increased so it would be 117 you can increase we will have 351 total math teacher and next was, uh, next, next was Hindi teacher decreased by 25 percent Hindi teacher decreased 25 percent already Hindi teacher 144 and decrease 1 by 4 you can say it will be 3 by remaining would be 3 by 4 so 144 into 3 by 4 108 351 math 101 hindi 459 teacher we will have and question is asked in which language total teacher it is being asked to be the total number of mathematics and hindi teacher answer is 449 next question question number 74 if alpha is the angle of first quadrant such that cosecant 4 alpha plus is equal to 17 plus quote 4a then what is the this is quote power 4a then what is the value of sine a now you can write here cosecant cosecant 4a minus quote 4a is equal to 17 as you know cosecant square theta minus quote square theta is equal to 1 so a square minus b square is equal to a plus b and a minus b so in other words you can write cosecant square theta plus cot square theta which is equal to which is equal to 17 you can write you can write uh, 17 now cosecant you can write it 1 by sin square theta and in place of this you can write cot square theta here you can write cos square theta divided by sin square theta in place of cos square theta take LCM sin square theta and here you can write 1 plus 1 plus here 1 minus cos square theta 1 minus sin square theta is equal to 17 you will find you will find here sin square theta and then plus sin square theta and that is this side you will have and then 2 you can say 18 sin square theta 18 sin square theta is equal to 2 sin square would be 1 by 9 and sin theta would be 1 by 3 sin theta is equal to 1 by 3 a should be the answer question number 75 Parameter of equilateral triangle is equal to the circumference of a circle. The ratio of their areas, we have to find the ratio of their areas. Parameter of equilateral triangle is, you can say, parameter of equal, equilateral triangle, that is 3A, is equal to the circumference of a circle. 
circumference of circle means 2 pi r 2 pi r the ratio of their areas we have to find the ratio of their areas you can say and then a is equal to you can say to here you can write pi instead of positively more complicated than 2 by 3 pi r a is equal to 2 by 3 pi r here root 3 by 4 a square is the area of a triangle two little triangle then write root 3 by 4 in place of a square you can write this 2 in 4 by 9 you can write directly you can write 4 by 9 4 by 9 into pi square and r square and vis a vis pi r square we have to find the area of pi r square so we will have r, r cancel pi pi cancel and then 4 4 cancel you will have pi ratio 9 by root 3 pi ratio 9 by root 3 in other words you can write in place of pi 22 by 7 22 by 7 then you will have Twenty two nine into seven, and here you write here root three. in place of nine. You can write, you can write in place of nine three into root three into root three. So root three root three cancel. So it will have twenty one root three, and here twenty two. So twenty two twenty one root three. This should be the answer in this case. This should be the answer. We have just put the value. We have just put up the value 3 a this is parameter is equal to 2 pi r and value of a it is then this we have put the value of a th root 3 by 4 a square it means we have done the square of this is equal to pi r square then we have sold both side we will have then we have found the value as d option. Now in this way we have covered all 75 questions, thank you very much for watching this presentation, all the best.